The brain is put together like building blocks in a sense. Those first blocks that go together are the more primitive area, the survival brain. The brain develops from the bottom to the top and from the inside out, so that the normal development of the top part of the brain depends upon healthy development of lower parts of the brain. The top part of the brain, where you do all of your thinking, is the part of the brain that is most changeable, easiest to modify. But unfortunately, if a child has developmental experiences of threat and exposure to domestic violence, the lower parts of the brain will be impacted and they're harder to change as they get older. He was never physically abusive, but he was verbally You're abusive. Stupid. There was a lot you, of, lots and lots that? of screaming in front of the kids, stupid. berating, you know, putting me down, and they pretty much heard it all. Children exposed to domestic violence, children who, who witness their parents fighting, literally are experiencing a state of fear. And when this happens, the systems in your brain that are involved in thinking at the top part of your brain are literally shut down. It changes the brains of these children. My son has seen and heard a lot of the violent outbursts. He was experiencing night terrors. And that was probably his way of dealing with it, because in his waking state, he didn't know how to articulate at two and a half years old. So it was coming through you know, when he was asleep. When kids are chronically stressed, one of the problems that we see is uh, difficulty in attachment and bonding, because they're so focused on survival, it's hard for them to reach out and connect with others. My oldest boy went through a stage where he would bully his younger brother, and seemingly laugh in glee. He was not remorseful or had no empathy that he could actually make someone cry. Many, many phone calls of, of him being disruptive in the classroom. He was a very bright kid, but that's when I knew that he was heading toward trouble. A lot of these kids get labeled as being, you know, bad, difficult, defiant. This is a very natural response to their circumstance. What the child is doing is a survival strategy for them, but it creates behaviors that are very difficult in the classroom. When they're in a crisis mode, they can't learn. The tragic reality of children growing up in domestic violence is that they end up with mental health problems at a rate higher than children who are actually the direct victims of physical abuse.